Now that I have the first door built, it's time to get it installed. This is definitely something new to me, so we're going to learn as we go. To start off, I'm going to move the door into place, and I've put some three-quarter inch blocks of wood down here to get the door up off of the ground. Now this thing does weigh more than I was hoping it would, but with three hinges, I think it's going to be all right. Now, I was noticing that the um, door is off a little bit whenever I built the frame, which is definitely something I could have fixed. And also, I think the floor has a slight swell to it. I think the easiest thing to do would be to uh, remove some of this space down here at the bottom. Uh, and that way, I'll uh, have equal spacing because uh, I can work around the waterproofing down there. With a little bit of work, I've managed to get it pretty well up here. And you can see there's just a little crack going down. What I did was uh, used a three quarter inch here and a half inch here. So the threshold is gonna be a little bit wonky um, because the floor, I believe, buckles up in the middle just a touch. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mark out the places for the hinges here. And that way I can use my uh, router to pull out the wood here. So I'm gonna take my tape measure and come down approximately five inches from the top plate up here. And mark out both the door here and the um, the wall. Okay, I marked the top, middle, and bottom of both the frame and the door here. So I'm gonna pull the door off real quick. I've marked at the top, middle, and bottom. And now I'm gonna take my pencil here and line up the line with the hinge so that I can mark out where this is going. Like I was saying, I've never done this before, so I just gave it two test runs with the router and it worked out quite well. So let me just show you kind of the process of this one up here. So I just traced out where the uh, uh, hinge is gonna be and I'm using this small handheld router to uh, go through here. Definitely my first experience with a router, so. I believe my others were more successful than that one, but that's just how it works sometimes. Yeah, I mean that goes right where it's supposed to, except for just a little bit of give in there. I was able to get the first door hung. Now I did this without you because um, I've never used a router before and I wanted to route out the hinge spots. So um, that works well. No handle yet, so we'll get to that, but uh, I just wanted to test it out before I film this. So we're gonna be working on the other side now. And what I'm gonna do is uh, use the, or put the door up here in position on some uh, boards and then mark out where it's going to hang and then I'll be able to uh, match up the door and go from there. So let's get to it. I'm going to walk this section into place over here and see how it's going to line up. Now three quarters will be too much here just like the other piece. So to remedy that I just pull out slide this one in and that's better. I figured that before I do too much work I should close the other door and see how well it fits together and um, it's too big. The way I built the door with this tab over here to um, close up around this one I've got to also come back and cut out the uh, OSB on this side so Couple things to do real quick. I'm gonna shave off a quarter inch off the side and I've set up my saw not to cut through 
that hardy board so that I can shave that off by hand if I need to. So let me get this cut real quick. Went through four batteries to find one that was charged. All right, so there's that. Very nice cut. So hopefully that's enough to get through that gap there. And hopefully it's not too much. That would be sad. So now I need to come back and cut off the edge here for an inch and a half. But first I'm gonna put it back up and make sure things are gonna fit correctly. I've marked out the three places that I want the hinges to be, matching up with the other door. And now I am just setting a hinge at that point and I'm making sure that I mark both the top and the bottom down here so that I can come back and route out those spots. Now, of course, it won't be on this piece, it'll be on the inside, but that's just my mark for where this goes. I've set the depth of my router to match that of a hinge, which is very shallow. And now I'm just going to trace out the square rectangle here of the hinge. So let's see how we do. Turned out nice, I think. So now I've got to chisel out the corners back here that uh, the router is unable to get to. Now on the door itself, I want to use the router all the way up to the fiber board. And then one little problem is that this has to be cut down a little further to allow the hinge to cut into. So uh, I'm gonna first route around the whole thing and then come back and cut this a little bit deeper. Now I'm getting the hinges on here, making sure the pin head is at the top. I made that mistake on the other side I had one of them upside down. That was annoying. This could get ugly, but hopefully it is exactly where we need it to be. Hmm. Let me see about getting this. Uh, tilt it up here. Okay. Alright, I just want to get one started in here. Okay. At least hold it up there long enough to get some more going. Okay. Nice. At least it's up there. Okay, time for the first close. Let's see how well we did here. Very nice on number one. Will it come together nicely? Oh yeah, nice fit. How did it look on your side? Looks to me like I should uh, come back and shave off a little of this inside uh, hardy board. Now it is off some. Down here at the bottom you can tell pretty good. And then up there at the top some. But uh, I'm just going to have to work with that. I may do separate weather stripping for each side to uh, work with that. But it's a shed so good enough. Well, I plopped all of the footage into the timeline and there was 60 minutes worth. 
that's a lot of door stuff. So it looks like we're going to have to break this up into a third segment. Uh, in that video, we'll be installing the deadbolt and the handles. I think that's going to do it for the doors, so three parts. Thank you for watching, and if you would take a moment to hit that thumbs up button, and also be sure to write a comment and let me know how I'm doing. I'll see you next time.